In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the magic eraser tool to get rid of objects from your photos. So if you have a photo like this, and let's say you want to get rid of this chair here. So unfortunately, the default iPhone app, as of now, as of the date of recording this video, does not have a magic eraser tool. That's actually a tool for Google, and it's normally available in Google products like the Google Pixel. But you can use it here on your iPhone by simply going to the Apple App Store and then installing Google Photos. Okay, so just find the Google Photos app, install it on your iPhone, and then you're ready to go. Now with the app installed, make sure you give it the necessary permissions to access your photo library. So let me just find the app. So here's the app. So just make sure you launch it and then you have to give it the necessary permissions. If you come here to the profile icon and then select settings. Here it is, Google photo settings. Then you have to give the necessary permissions for this app to automatically back up your photos. Now, once you do that, then you can now scroll through the photo. The photo library is gonna look exactly like the one in the photos app. The default app okay so you can see the same photos that are here are also in google photos so from here pick your photo so here's the same photo so what you want to do is now edit it inside google photos so just tap on edit and you'll see the magic eraser tool so you want to tap on that and then it's going to use ai to automatically suggest for you things to erase now it normally picks people in photos besides the person in the main subject of the photo so you can cancel that by just closing by tapping on this little x and then you can choose for yourself what you want your areas so if you want to erase this uh chair for instance you just circle it like that and it's gonna get erased okay it's gonna get removed just like that if you want to remove this sign as well here you can do that as well and that's going to remove that if you want to get rid of these people here, you can do that. And then once you're done, you can now tap on the done button. Okay, and then tap on save. And then of course, you'll have the option to save as a copy, which is what I normally go for. So now you'll notice from the original photo, which is actually this one right here, you can see this one still has the chair and the sign. And then we have this one that we've edited without the chair and the sign and the people here. And you'll also get a copy of this edited photo in the main photos app of your iPhone. So if you go to the main photos app, you can see we have the original photo. And then let's see, let's try and find the edited photo. Here it is. So that's the edited version of the photo. So that is basically how to use the magic eraser tool. Thanks for watching. You can leave any comments or questions down in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and even subscribe for more tips. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Good luck.